It's time for some entertainment. Let's bring you some of the biggest stories around the continent. And who better to bring it to you other than the award-winning entertainment reporter here on Breakfast Central. Good morning, Sam Dandy. The not dangerous Sam Dandy. Thank God. I mean, that's my Christmas wish, and it just came true. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to and have Danny, you. Here. You didn't come dressed for Christmas. I was going to say, why didn't I get a, a cool hat or something? There yeah. is, there's, well, there was an extra one. Yeah, there's yeah. an extra one in the makeup studio. You should have picked it up. But oh you're too cool. You're too Gen Z and too cool for these things, isn't it? Nobody's too cool for Christmas, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, go on. Let's go. Yeah, All right, let's start with this one. Um, the news that the O2 Brixton Academy UK has had its license suspended. Now, this is, of course, following the fatal incident that occurred over the past weeks. Now, reports say that the South London venue was evacuated on Thursday night and will remain closed until a hearing in January 2023. Now, Lambeth co um, councillors made the interim decision following the severity of the events and the risk to public safety from a lack of crowd control, especially at the front doors. Now, this will happen until a full hearing takes place on the 16th of January, 2023. Now, concerns were raised about the strength of the front door nearly three years before a fatal crash at, of course, a pop star singer at Shaquette's show. Now, recall that the gig was cut short when a large number of people tried to enter the foyer, leading to the unfortunate passing of 33-year-old Rebecca Ikumelu on Saturday and 23-year-old Gabby Hutchison the following Monday. Now, the Metropolitan Police said there had been a similar crush on the 2nd of February 2020 when concerns were raised during a concert, a concert by Naira Mali, another Afrobeat singer. Now, as it stands, one show has already been postponed. Another um, New Year's Eve has been cancelled. Five more shows due to take place in that particular venue between now and the 16th of January will also be postponed. Now, although the owners offered um, or their offer to remain closed for just 28 days was declined, uh, the O2 Brixton Academy in a statement said it recognizes the gravity of the events which occurred on the night of the 15th of December and expresses its sincere condolences to the families of those who died during the tragic incident and, of course, its genuine concerns for anyone affected by it. Now, this year alone, 2022, a total of 173 shows took place at that venue, which can hold up to 4,921 people. Well, we do hope that things are put in place and, uh, you know, all investigations are also conducted so that people can also party come next year. Now, let's move to this one. Canadian award-winning musician Justin Bieber is said to make history, selling off rights to his music in a multi-million dollar deal. Now, according to Wall Street Journal, the pop idol is nearing completion on the sale to Hypnosis Songs Capital for reportedly over 200 million US dollars. Now, this deal will be one of the biggest acquisition in music history once completed. Now, the rights to his entire music catalog would include the 28-year-old's six studio albums dating as far back as 2010, several singles, and even collaborations. Popularly referred to as the Prince of Pop, and once the most searched person on the internet for four years straight, Bieber and his work have influenced various recording artists till date. Now, sources say that once the deal is successfully completed, Bieber's shares of his publishing and recorded music catalog will also continue to be administered and owned respectively by Universal. Now, although representatives for Bieber and Hypnosis have not confirmed the news publicly, um, the development comes during an unsettling time for the singer. Now, weeks ago, we know that he postponed the remaining dates in his Justice Tour until an unspecified time for next year. Now, the tour originally was scheduled since 2020 and has been postponed or delayed for several times, initially due to pandemic, of course, uh, but most recently following his Ramsey Hunt um, Syndrome health diagnosis. Now, Hypnosis Song Capital is the same company who, uh, you know, time ago, gave American singer and songwriter Justin Bieber half, I said Justin, Justin Timberlake, I beg your pardon, half as much for his catalog. Now, with sales of over 88 million records for Timberlake, his catalog rights um, of his discography were sold for over 100 million US dollars. Well, I, 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 it's weird, because a lot of people did say that Justin Bieber is rather young and for a musician who doesn't have as much catalog as most others uh, that's a far reach for 200 million u.s dollars but a big congratulations to the canadian star on all that he's done and continues to do that's much i can take in entertainment uh but i gotta ask you guys favorite what? justin Bieber song anyone if you know any of the songs please I tell know me that you, you love me 
You know I okay. care. Okay. You know whenever and I'll be there. there. That's a nice one. Was he even Justin Bieber then? He was a baby Justin Bieber. Yeah, it was, it was baby, a baby. baby. But my, mine would be every song on the Purple's album. That that for me is the album that that was an album he created from the depth of his soul. Hmm. Wasn't and gospel. Then, was, think, it had to no, be no, 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 it wasn't the gospel. Wasn't gospel. I don't yeah. think he's been able to create anything better than that Purple's um, album uh, hmm. since then. Absolutely. And if you ask himself, he'll tell you that. Um, I agree. That's his I, greatest album. He says greatest album. Well, it was definitely good. It was more like a gospel album, I must confess. Uh, but if you ask for my favorite, I would say, you know, Under the Mistletoe. Do you know the song? That Under the, the Mistletoe. While well, Afauno gets who go, you know, they go fist stand under the mistletoe. <laughs> what are you talking about? You can just borrow or sad, that's all. There's, I, I, we need, so I think, I think we didn't do something right, you know, in, in this week. We should have hung the mistletoe somewhere around the office. Then, when we and hang, just set people up. When we hang the mistletoe, mm -hmm. who is going to, the next steps after the hanging of the mistletoe? I mean, if you find yourself there, good luck. I could take one for the team. You are who? <laughs> don't let me say the Sam name. Dandy. Don't let me say Be the name. Be careful. <laughs> don't, let, don't let's expose I was gonna, when on he, national when, TV. <laughs> on international TV. I was going to suggest someone, but... I, I was say, I was say just off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam, for joining us. We hope that you have a wonderful celebration this Christmas. Are you going to be with family? Um, I don't know. I might probably be at work a lot of times during that day, but uh, I'm sure I find time to be with my family for sure. Sam Dandy, you're not single, but I want to ask you, what do single men want for Christmas? You asked that question. Um, and um, I think a photo shoot would not be bad. I like pictures. It'll be cool to see. It'll actually be cool to, I know that's not what they want, but it'd be cool to see. Uh, what do you think they want? Uh, definitely a time out to party. Uh, men love a good party. Uh, you know, we're like, yeah, in the name of love, but we're outside. We're you know, outside. We're outside. <laughs> It's All right. okay. All right. I'm hoping that Asalge will be able to do something for the single men by Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he will not be single by then. Hopefully. <laughs> The pressure is getting worse. It's getting worse. All right, it we'll is. see you around again. Uh, by the time we see you with Boxing Day, please come mm -hmm. to work with some gifts. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, <laughs> and Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, you too.